guys, and welcome to another Mario Golf Super Rush video, and we have a new update here, so let's go ahead and check it out. This one's pretty interesting, we're just going to go with standard golf here. One player. But they added Wiggler, of all characters, who's the last time he was playable was Mario Kart 7, and then before that was Sluggers and Power Tennis. Which is a really deep cut for playable characters, <laughs> and that's pretty cool. I mean, like, whenever you see Wiggler playable, you know this isn't really a normal roster. Like, I mean, we already have King bob -omb, Charge and Chuck, Pauline. Like, we already have some pretty... And Ninji, too. We already have some pretty interesting characters. But we also have Shy Guy, too. Shy Guy is pretty cool. I mean, Shy Guy is expected, but I... Like, I mean, you, you gotta love Shy Guy. Well... Let's go ahead and take a look at the courses here. We have Shelltop Sanctuary and All-Star Summit. All-Star Summit looks really cool. Kind of reminds me of Mario's Star from um, the original Mario Golf and Mario Golf World Tour. So let's go ahead and check out Shelltop Sanctuary first. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I wonder if it's just a par 3 course or there's more because it does look a little small. Or And they do have the amateur pro layout. So, we'll just go ahead and start with Amateur. But it does look really nice. Just like, I, it just looks very unique compared to the other ones. And I just really like things like this. I mean, like, it kind of shows that we're kind of going out of the generic era of Mario and everything. So, like, when we see, like, new locations like this, and I think it's really cool with the, um stone statues of, like, the masters. I think that's really cool. It's, like, a nice little touch there. And honestly, I know graphically this game looks a little rough, but I do think these new courses actually look pretty good. Like, this style looks great. It's, like, they're really colorful, and they're not bland like the other ones. I mean, I guess, um... New Donk City was pretty nice, and not all of the base Ross or not all of the base courses were bland, but I mean, this looks way better than, like, anything we've seen in, like, the original courses that we've had, but it's kind of a shame that this is the last update that they're doing. I think it's the last one, unless they do DLC, but I would love to see more of this type of thing. Oh, is that a star coin? That's really cool. I just noticed that there's Bramballs there, which is a really underrated Mario enemy. Honestly, I'd love to see underrated Mario enemies from, um, like, different spin-off games. I know it's not, like, a completely original character, but it is nice to see, like, stuff like Bramballs in this game. Wow, that rolled pretty far, but, um, I didn't expect to see that enemy there. I think the last time that appeared was... New Super Mario Bros. U, not including the Lego set. Or New Super Luigi U, I guess. Well, time for me to edit the Mario Wiki <laughs> after I make this video, because... I kind of like to add things like that, but... Let's go ahead and check out the other course. I know they added a couple more modes. But actually... Yeah, I think we'll check out the other mode with Shy Guy. Okay, so they added target golf, which is pretty cool. So we'll do button controls. Okay. We'll just try it with two. We'll play as shy guy. Then we'll have the, yeah, we'll just have a random opponent. Okay, that's really interesting. Okay, this kind of reminds me of the, um, the Pokemon Stadium Smash stage. That's pretty cool. I guess we'll check out Forest. I thought this was a new Battle Golf thing at first. Oh, there's Brambles there too, that's pretty cool. I guess that's another technically deep cut Mario enemy. Okay, I got 20 that time. Okay, actually, this is... I think this is kind of like ring shot a little bit. With tennis. 
I, not exactly, but, like, kind of the same concept of trying to get, like, different rings, kind of, or different collectibles, I guess. Or, not really collectibles, kind of gaining points. Yeah, it kind of is like Ring Shot. Wait, are there items? That would be really cool if there's items. Oh, is it like some some effect that okay. Oh Okay, it's the effect that it has on your ball. I thought that was a, like a power up or something that, like that first. This is a really nice mode. Okay, you can't get gain any points from that. Okay. Okay, I think it's really nice to have another mode like this. This is pretty cool. And honestly, I actually think this is pretty fun so far. Even though it's a little slower paced than other modes in um in this game, it still looks pretty nice. Okay, definitely overshot that one. Yeah, I didn't gain any points from that. Yeah, this... Toda is definitely going to win, but... Anyways, that's really cool. So, I guess we'll go back to Core Select and... We'll choose one more or go back from here. Okay, so I guess I'll try out Speed Golf on the other course and I'll go back to Wiggler. But we'll check out that new... All-Star course. Yeah, the All-Star Summit. That is really cool how they have the characters like that. I think... Yeah, it's pretty similar to that other one, but this is kind of like the final course, kind of. I mean, I guess that's why it's the last update, unless they do DLC. I guess with, if they do DLC, it would be like remakes of other courses, like World Tour. Okay, and it has an original music track, too. That's cool. That's interesting. It has star coins. I want... I think those give you, like, more coins, I guess? I mean, I'm not gonna go out of my way to get it, but maybe another time I'll see what those do. Or you could check it out for yourself. Okay, they're definitely going to do better than me this time. It's just... It just seems... It's just ridiculous to see Wiggler just running around like that. Honestly, I would have to say this is a better playable appearance than Mario Kart 7. That is really cool. Okay, oh, I went way too far. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't do well this time. After all, it's my first time playing on this course, so... So anyways, that's the Mario Golf Super Rush update. It's really cool, and I just really like the stuff that they added. I mean, this stuff really should have been at launch. I mean, they should have done other stuff after release, like maybe other courses and stuff like that, but... Honestly, this, this would have felt nice to actually have, like, when the game released and everything, but just, overall, it is a nice update. Okay, that's what the, okay, the star coin just, I think that instantly fills up your meter, but, um, yeah, but anyways, this update's really nice. I just really like how these courses look. They look better than most of them that are already in the game, except maybe New Donk City, but thank you guys for watching this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more and make sure to check out my discord server and twitter if you want to goodbye